Hi guys and welcome! It is time for another sketchbook tour and the sun just suddenly broke through, how fun! So, okay, first of all, if you don't want all of the intro stuff, you can just skip here and I'll also have like video chapters that you can follow. So this is actually the oldest sketchbook that I finished that I'm willing to go through on this channel. Everything before this is just... it's not... everything before this is just stuff that I'm not really proud of. And I've also haven't looked at this in a while, so maybe we'll see some rough stuff. But anyways, this is probably also the sketchbook that I've spent the most time on, as in drawing. So yeah, it's a Fabriano sketchbook, 110 GSM, 80 pages, blah blah blah. This is actually my school sketchbook, so I drew everything in here with the fact that it would be graded later in mind. So there's also a couple of notes here and there that you'll see, but we'll, we'll see, we'll see. And on top of that, my like final school project for high school is in here, which was kind of a fail. We will get to it, don't worry. I actually never showed it because it was kind of a fail, so so yeah, there's 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 a time for everything, I guess. So yeah, on the cover we have actually the original sticker, which I somehow managed to keep on there. And then this sticker that I got from my brother. And on the back there's this tiny little froggy that I drew, which is really really cute. So okay, let's start. Okay, so on the first page we have... I don't know. We have a whole bunch of sticky notes that I drew in class. There's actually gonna be a lot of drawings in here that I drew in class, but yeah. We have some sticky notes and this is just what we had to do with the sketchbook that I still have. So yeah, every time every time you see gold tape like this, it's my name and I, I don't want my name going around. That's also my name, but yeah. Okay, first page, the welcoming page. I still actually really like this. I think they're really cute. So yeah, sketchbook 12. I started this in my fourth year of high school, so when I was... I was probably 15. And I finished it, I think, in March or something. We have a sticker. And then yeah, um, so I was supposed to finish this for school, but everything that I drew in my first year of having the sketchbook was these five crows, which are very very old, and then this I drew the year afterwards, so that's also a little rough. So this must have been 2021, I think. We have some really bad figure studies, I am a lot better now, but it's always good to practice, you gotta start somewhere. So yeah, this was the end of 2021, so almost two years ago, I guess. Some hand studies from Line of Action. I'm not gonna get into these too much because they're really boring and just bad. Here we have Pinterest studies, I guess. A little doggy. Yeah, we have Shenha. I think that might have been around the time she got released. I don't know if you mentioned. This little ducky is cute, or goose. I don't know. More figure studies. I haven't actually looked through this in a while. But alright, so we have some hand studies. I was. I literally said this is still stuff I'm proud enough to show, but. Mm, we're just gonna quickly go over these. I was very persistent though because I drew a lot of figure studies, which is good. Do your figure studies is one of the best ways to improve your anatomy. And I will actually talk about all of that in a future sketchbook tour, but that's not right now. So let's continue. Okay. Yeah, we have a whole bunch of legs. I wrote legs. A whole bunch of more legs. 27 pairs to be exact. Well, guess what? More legs. And even more legs. Some torsos. Torso studies, I guess. Some more torsos. I hope we're... I hope I don't have to cover every figure drawing. That would be a lot. So, yeah, we have more torsos. Learning to draw the torso. I think I did all of this in, like, one day. Which is a lot. Oh, and there we have arms. Also a lot of fun. Um, even more arms. Wow, I was... Like I said, very persistent. He looks kind of scary. Okay. I'm guessing, yeah, more Pinterest. I don't know why this is here, but okay. I, I was really proud of this at the time, and it doesn't really... It really doesn't look bad. And then we have some Armin sketches, because I, I, I loved him. Even back then, I still really love him. On the next page, we have MC. Some really bad Chuya. Sketches, I guess, from Bungo Stray Dogs. More Pinterest, more Pinterest. This sucks. I guess I didn't like it. Okay, so yeah, everything that is taped in is stuff that I drew in school. So that's all of this. I think I drew all of these like without a reference, so for memory. 
which is why some of them are a little rough. We have some clothing studies. I still really need to get better at drawing clothes. Expression studies, I guess, from this child. Shoes, a really bad portrait. I wish I used more color here. They're very bare, everything. But I think it gets better later on. Yeah, more Pinterest studies, I guess. This one's kind of cute. That one's also kind of cute. Um, what can I say? More Pinterest. I really like this one. I think... I'm pretty sure this was around the time that I started reading Chainsaw Man. And I was inspired by... what's his name? Fujimoto? That's Fujimoto. It's art style. And we have Yuria from Yuri and Ice. Wow, I would have guessed. More Pinterest. This is really boring so far, I apologize. I swear it gets better, I was still a little flippy. See? We have some color. Chi Chi's birthday, 3rd of March. I, I still remember that for some reason. I really don't know what this scotch room is, but we have that. We have more hands. Power from Chainsaw Man. Meowy. Oh. Okay, so this was another school project. We had to draw the same thing for 20 days in a row and spend like 10 minutes on each. And <laughs> guess what I chose to draw? Myself. So yeah, this was the first day, I guess. I wrote the date everywhere. <laughs> they're not they're not that special, I don't know. But it did really help with drawing full bodies because I didn't really do that at the time. Here I was sick. And okay, so I didn't complete the challenge. There were supposed to be 20, but I think I did 19 or 18. And they got hung on like the school, like in the school halls. And one of them was eliminated. I don't remember exactly which one, but I do remember that I really didn't like this one because I was sick and I couldn't really draw and it turned out bad. And they didn't eliminate that and I literally kept sick in there. I'm still mad about that. Some color because next page I'm actually wearing this right now how fun but yeah it's just literally myself over and over again I kind of like this one oh and there we go this was actually <laughs> this was actually my second time like cosplay which is really funny and then the last one, this was also, it wasn't really a cosplay, it was more like a costume, sort of. And then we, we didn't do the last day. So, next page. We have this watercolor painting that I still actually really like. I think it's, I think it's nice. Like, I barely use watercolor and I, I can't do much better than this now. These I drew during art class. I, I guess I was bored. Tiny sketch. We have more figure drawings, how fun. Also more Pinterest. Drawing some guys, I really didn't draw guys back then. Um, what can I say? More Pinterest, and we also have some Howl. I really wanna draw Howl again. I've been meaning to for like forever. I should, I should, I will. I will one day. This, this, <laughs> this is like female Kaya from Genshin, and I don't know, I. I kind of like this. I kind of still like this. It's really not bad. Also some Konbeni from Chainsaw Man and then more Pinterest. Oh, this was really fun. So I looked up on YouTube, I think, something like modern dance, I guess. And I picked like the first thing that came up, which was like this person who was dancing. I just paused the video every now and then and redrew the pose. So some sometimes the lines were blurry. But, so I couldn't really draw it, but this was so much fun. It was really nice to get in like that line of action. I should do this again. I would recommend it. Um, I guess I drew Ochako Raraka here. I don't really like her. I don't know why I drew her. I do like this. I do like this. Pretty. We have Pinterest, I guess. Makima. I think I asked my friend what I should draw and they were like, draw Makima. And I was like, oh, okay. We also have Himeno, but those are really bad, so yeah. More figure drawings, I really didn't draw much here, so I was trying to get back into it. What can I say? Pinterest. 
To this day, this is probably the most cursed thing I've ever drawn and it haunts me. It is like... So I had this sticker and there was something around it and I stuck that in here and and then, yeah, I... I drew some sort of anime mushroom. We're gonna ignore that. And that is watercolor, which is pretty cool. The next page. Probably drew these during class. We have Xiao. I really like this one, actually. This one's kind of cute as well. And then we have the start of my sixth year in high school. So from here on, it gets a little bit better. Let's see. I also filled up over half in that year because I really wanted to finish it before the end of school. This is my ticket from like my plane ticket from when I went to Rome I stuck that in here which is cool I like this little cat doodle actually we have some ooh, sun the lighting in this video is gonna be so incredibly inconsistent and I apologize um yeah anyways we have some uh, expressions there here I was like doing some measurements for my manga wow which I don't have much to say about that actually and there's also gonna be a bunch of like digital drawings that I printed out that will be in here because like I said this was gonna be graded and my digital art is better than my traditional art I felt like so I wanted to show my teacher I can do better than this all right so I stuck a bunch of digital drawings in there what can I say a whole bunch of sticky notes also drew also all drawn during class this was funny though, I traced like my finger and drew a little weird. Other than that, I don't know, that's a really bad a really bad Hanakoken froggy girl. Yeah, I got oh! Okay, so this is actually the first page where I started with my school project. And I've decided it would be better if I just do all of that like together in one bunch. So that will probably be at the end of the video, and then I can also maybe show like the finished product if I feel like it. We'll see. So we're just gonna skip this for now. Actually guys, future me here, I ended up rambling about this entire like project way too long and the sketchbook tour is already getting pretty long. So if you want to hear all about the graphic novel, I will have a video about it. You can watch it here. It will be out in a couple days probably. Yeah, I apologize, but we're gonna go on with the tour. This is also that. This is actually something, some other project that I never touched again, but I wanted to design playing cards and I might still do that, so no spoilers there, but that's, yeah, this is for that, and this is more graphic novel stuff for my school project, as is this, you I drew my mouse, still have that mouse, I guess, and my desk, this is a little still live drawing i guess i kind of like this christmas bowl i know that's not what they're called but that's what i'm calling them okay more graphic novel stuff these are pinteresting wow that one's that one is really really cute and tiny i still like this i should do something with this i still haven't <laughs> okay so this page i drew this guy and he looks like the most generic main character in anime ever so my friend and i kind of made a story around him and i don't remember everything i kind of wrote it here but from what i remember this guy was like what was he half swedish half half british and he he went on like an ex exchange year to japan or something and then he had this girlfriend who was norwegian and <laughs> and her name was Dorlaho Galande. I don't even know if that's a valid name, I'm not Norwegian. And so yeah, that was like his girlfriend, but then they broke up like the day he arrived in Japan or something. And then in Japan you have Sakura Hinata, yes we gave her the most basic girl name there on the planet because we thought that we that would be funny. And then pre glow up because this is really ugly and we couldn't we couldn't make her ugly. She had to she had to look like really really mid, you know? Like a, a love interest and then you have these two sisters the younger sister is Koko Midorea who is called Midorea because Midore means green in Japanese and she has to have a very shallow name as well and then it's like a friend from Sakura probably and then like her sister who we didn't want to give her name so she's just called Midorea Senpai I think that's like most of the story 
it's not really a story, we never really went back to it, but it was really, really funny. And then, this was for my school project, like the exhibition. More planning, we'll get into that. Some guys, I guess, more planning. Oh, this is a really fun spread, I remember like, spending forever on this. First of all, I drew this Studio Ghibli postcard, which I think turned out really, really cute. And Sen? I always forget if her name is Sen or Son, but I think it's Sen. Kaya, that one's pretty. Here's are some like concepts or thumbnails, I guess, for Chainsaw Man pieces, which I still haven't done, but I still want to do a couple of them, so no spoilers. That one's really bad, not even gonna talk about it. Raven, she's just pretty, like, and I actually like this angel, he's cute. Next page we have, oh, I drew this on the couch with like my sketchbook. Like this, that's why it's bad. I could do better, I swear. Honestly, all of these are kind of in the past. Um, yeah, anyways, we have Ponyo, really cute. I guess I drew that with chocolate milk. Uh, let's not focus on that. More graphic novel, we have Shillian, actually the love of my life from uh, Heaven Official's Blessing. I love him so much, this might be the first time I've drawn him. Yeah, we also have Norman. I also really love Norman. He's great. Kaboga is also... I, I love Kaboga so much. From Evangelion and The Promise Never Love. I'm like out of breath. I'm like... Whew. Okay, um, Rapunzel. Hilda. More figure studies. Not much to say about that. Kenma. I love Kenma. He is really, really pretty. So I just drew him over and over. This, this is actually kind of cute. I like that. That one's also kind of cute, also more Pinterest girls. What do we have here? We I learned myself, taught myself how to write I, which means love in Japanese. I, I can't actually write that anymore. It's it's too hard a kanji. Okay, okay. But yeah. More studies, I guess. Belle from Beauty and the Beast. This was actually like a thumbnail concept something for a finished illustration, which I like this a lot more, but you can't have everything. It says tongue for some reason. More graphic novel. Loose. I really like this loose. That one's kind of cute. This is like free-handed, so kind of cute. More graphic novel. I think this was supposed to be Kaboboy, but doesn't really look like him. More graphic novel. We have this angel. And I love this. This was done with alcohol markers and I see, I love it. It's so good. Like, I just have this protective. I say transfer paper, but no. This came from cheese, but okay. Hanako kun. This one's really cute. I like it. Chainsaw Man sketches and scaramouche that I drew during French, which I'm not even gonna read that. Oh, this was fun. Well, like, okay, so I drew a Zhao and I didn't like it, so I drew it again and. I don't know which I drew afterwards, maybe this Barbara, and then I drew Barbara again, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna draw a character, and then I'm gonna, and then I'm gonna draw them again. So every character is duplicate on here. The only ones that I really like is this show. Maybe that Toma, maybe Siri Mia really, really fit really well in that space, and maybe Chi Chi and the rest is just kind of bad, but with the rainbow watercolor around it, it looks cool. This, this is actually like. The best ray face that I've ever drawn, and believe me, I've drawn her a lot. But yeah, okay, and then we have a tiger, which I think is actually pretty good. A guy, which is not much to say about that. And an Asuka, from, also from Evangelion, which isn't that good. This was kind of fun. I just drew some, like, you know, you know in uh, Avatar The Last Airbender when there, when there's just, like, expressions that are all over the place. I redrew some of those. This guy looks like he has the worst bowl cuts ever. This is really pretty though. Suki, I like Suki. <laughs> um, yeah, Shinji. I like drawing Shinji. I'm not gonna say much about it. I, I really am not. Oh, this was cool. I was like, I generated a random country and then I drew some like fashion or cultural like Attire, clothing, anything from that. But then I was like, no, I don't I don't want to 
I don't know anything about the country, so I'm not, I'm not, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop. So I think I did these three, and these three are just from Pinterest. Pen, I don't like pen. We have more Ray, because I absolutely love Ray, and I love drawing her. And actually, I showed this to my teacher, and then she went on this, like my art teacher, and she went on this like full rant on why I draw in this manga style or anime style and why I don't draw in like my own style and I just copy stuff and I was like what? I I mean I have my own style right? this is not exactly the Evangelion art style manga and she just didn't see that or something I was like on the verge of tears like why? I respected you yeah that wasn't fun but okay okay continue she's not my everything Pinterest yeah, this is when my friend gifted me a whole bunch of Eveline brush pens, which I still use to this day, I really really like them. So we have some figure drawings, these are definitely better than these. So yeah, we've improved over the years, that's great. I definitely like this one, it looks pretty nice, that one's also cute. Not sure what is even happening there and the perspective is off. But that's also fine. I wanted to draw a cyclops, so I drew a cyclops. I remember this girl took me way too long to draw. I think this girl was inspired by Loish art style. Yuji from memory, which doesn't look like Yuji. Hinata, which... Yeah, our boy. He, he, he looks nice. Um, oh, I drew this. And I, I used like every color ever on it from these, I guess. And I was like, Niji, which means rainbow. And then I drew another girl and colored it with gray. And I was like, Kumo, which means cloud. I was so deep. I, I mean, My Japanese is awesome, guys. Um, I really don't have much to say about this. This one's kind of cute. Probably drew all of these during class. These are some more figure studies from Pinterest, I guess. This was fun. This was really, really fun. I just doodled like a whole bunch of animals and then I colored in the background and it's really really cute, I like it. Be bad at stuff. I took that a little too- no, um, <laughs> that is true, you need to be bad at some things. If you're not gonna draw because you're afraid you will fail, then you're not- That that's not good. Draw, this is very badly articulated, but go draw, it, it doesn't matter if it's bad. Like yes, all m most of the things in here I'm not really proud of anymore, less than I thought I had, but that's not important because that was important to get where I am today and draw, go draw, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, a guy, Pinterest, I don't have much to say about this, I really don't, it's been a while, oh this was for like a school, school book, which was the absolute worst as always. Other than that, I don't know. This is probably a one-line drawing, which is really cute. These are really basic. What can I say? These were done with, like, pen. If you want to fill up your sketchbook, just grab a pen and do, like, one-line drawings. They're not going to turn out great, but they look fun. Because, like, the style is fun. And it's really, really quick. So, pro tip. More doodles. I think I used this, like, 9B pencil there, which is really dark, which is cool. A very full page with some girls. What can I say? And also Aki. I still really like this painting. Drawing, whatever. This was done digitally and I stuck it in here. We also have a boot that looks kind of nice. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah. This was all... This, like, all of this was drawn during math because I, I hated math. And my math, like, notebook was pretty much a sketchbook, so yeah, math shenanigans. They're really, really cute, though. Oh, I hate this page. I spent so many hours on this because of my final art project. But, w w like I said, we'll get about that. We'll get into that later. For now, we have these two drawings, which I also did digitally, which I like. This was designing the first page. Not that one. This one, I wanted to give them wings, but I didn't. I'm guessing this was something like the inside of your mind. 
which I never did, but <laughs> it's there. And I drew this Merida in Clipsio paint, which I normally use paint all size, so that was experimental and fun. I think at this point I was really just trying to fill up the sketchbook, which I almost did. And I was just doodling random, ra really random things. But yeah, we have more digital drawings. I really like this one still. And with this one, the colors look really good, like digitally, but not printed out, I guess. Oh, this was, <laughs> this was when I went to the park and I, I wanted to like draw from life, like an artist. But I, I just felt myself staring at little kids and I was not comfortable with doing that. And it was very cold, so I very quickly left. Oh, this was actually the, the like, I, I don't know, I call it the field girl from the uh, earlier thumbnail. March 1st. I'm guessing this was March 1st. Umi, umi, umi. This is more graphic novel. This one is really cute though, I like that. Oh, here I tested out my paint pens, which... Most of them are dried out by now, but that's fine. This guy's still really, really cute. This page... I was not having it. I really wasn't. But I kind of like that face. And these are kind of cute. That guy's cute. Oh, here. Okay, so... I remember at the time, I was like very busy with school and I wasn't really drawing much, so... I decided to just... Grab my sketchbook. I think this was around the time... That I finished my graphic novel? No, that's not true. Anyways, um, so I just decided to grab some pencils and just doodle and doodle and doodle and didn't matter how it turned out. Was just gonna do whatever, whatever, and it, I do, I do like it. Like, look at this guy. He's adorable. This was definitely drawn with kids art supplies. Kid quality. What can I say? This is my plants. This guy. I draw them every like every now and then. I still don't know what it is. If you know what or whatever this is from, please tell me. I, I, I still don't know. We're almost at the end actually. Okay. Pinterest, Kaya, Kaya. I drew Kaya so often. Wow. More Aki. These are actually kind of like, they were just some like mouth studies. Colored pencils, room design. I can do perspective so. We have the boys, Sinjo and Chunyun. I was really, really, really obsessed with them at the time. Or actually, this was a little bit after that, but I miswrote Chunyun because I can't spell. Not gonna get into it. I think this is me when I just got like my haircut really short for the first time, which was really short, but. Oh, this was more planning for the first page. And this was. Like the outside from this. And I drew a little castle and I actually really like that. We're almost, almost at the end, boys. We have Makima. I, I really like this. Like, apart from the fact that our forehead is absolutely massive. I really like it. I like the folds. I like how shaded this. That's a quote from Makima. You can read that if you want. I don't know. More doodles. Stuff. Anything. I was really done with the sketchbook. So, I, I like this guy though. And then we have the last page. So, I drew myself saying bye because I was done with it. And this is like a little poem that I didn't write myself. I kind of altered this other poem. It's just like, by school, by class, how fine that I was. The time went by very quickly. I've always done my best. Can I rhyme this? I cannot. Okay. Maybe I'll see you soon? Red, yellow, blue. A perfect one. Anyways, um, Scaramouche. I like this. Notes. Hinata. This guy. And then some atrocious stickers. And that's the end. We have the little froggy again. So yeah, that is the entire sketchbook, minus all of the art school project stuff. Okay, so yeah, that will be it for today's video. I really hope that even though this was mostly a little bit older art and not as good as my current art, I still hope that you enjoyed looking through it. There are, sef there are definitely some things that I still like in it, like this one for example. But yeah, I want to thank you guys so so much for watching. 
if you enjoyed the video be sure to let me know and yeah be sure to grab your sketchbook and draw in it so you can fill so you can make the bad art before you make the good art that is very important also be sure to do your stretches so you don't get your hand messed up because mine is getting messed up again which it's okay it's okay yeah i want to thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys next week bye